Kiri. I'm a student at Brunel, studying composition. I've been playing guitar for roughly 10 years or so. Cool. Cool, Kiri. Um, just a few questions actually about the Django Hub project. Um, do you think Django Reinhardt and his music is becoming more popular in the present time? Yes, definitely. Um, I remember, I mean, I've been into that music for, for something like 15 years or 18 years or something like that. And initially it was very, very hard to come by. Very, very hard to find any of the music. You had to really hunt. Uh, you had to know what you were looking for. And I think now with the internet and people just being able to see an advert, it's on TV, it's in movies, and then going online and finding it. Um, I think it's become very, very easily accessible for people, um, which is great. Great. Um, what do you think, uh, in terms of Django Jazz, do you think it's becoming more popular for the younger generation to play? Uh, it, again, definitely so. Um, like I said, I'm, I remember jam nights, just going on my own experience, firstly, uh, about ten years ago, they were predominantly folk kind of based, and no one was really playing that. and that stuff and it was kind of an older crowd and now I think we're seeing kind of more of a revival with a lot of young very very good players playing this kind of music at, at venues um, so yeah definitely younger um, and yeah the music has changed and it's become more popular yeah great um, in terms of the Django Hub project itself so the website we were uh, kind of previously talking about what do you think about the guitar lick search engine idea I think it's a uh, a really, really good idea. Um, th th there's a lot of um, very mediocre stuff online. Uh, very, very mediocre, not done by people who can really play and understand the music to give it a good overview and a good understanding of what's actually um, going on there. You know, I mean, people are looking for harmonic ideas, they're looking for rhythmic ideas, and those licks can be kind of a, a basis for that. Berkeley does that with jazz anyway, kind of mm -hmm. bebop and stuff in America, you know, and I haven't seen any real stuff for kind of, uh, you know, Django's music, if Definitely. you will. So I think it's it's something that could really, really work and take off. And people know when they see good stuff, you know, and having it on a community base could be um, a really good idea. That's great. Um, what do you think about having your own personal profile on the site? Yeah, I think, I think that's the most important thing that's going to make it work because um, you know, we're all musicians, you know, we're all artists, anyone who goes on there is going to be a musician or, you know, a, a, someone who wants to be an artist or anything. And I think being able to start to get yourself organised, if you will, in that sense, you've got your, you know, your kind of profile, you've got your vocabulary building, um, I think it's a really important process in music anyway. Um, and um, will give you some kind of an identity yourself and it will actually really kickstart kind of like more of a social um, network on, on the actual hub itself. Great. If the site was developed enough, would you pay for a subscription? Yeah, I mean definitely, definitely. Um, so subscriptions are very, very popular. People pay all kinds of money for all kinds of things online. Um, and things often that aren't very, you know, useful unfortunately. Um, so subscription is something good quality, which they're actually going to be interacting with. Because I mean, a lot of the artists are doing online lessons now anyway, you know. Um, yeah, I, mean, I, would, I would certainly do that. Definitely. Finally, um, what do you think of the name of the project, the Django Hub? Yeah, I think it's a really good name. Django, everyone knows Django, Hub, you know, the two go together well. Great. Right. Thanks for your time. Hi, I'm Alexine. Um, I'm a musician and play multiple instruments and one of them is Gypsy Jazz Guitar, which I'm a big fan of. Great. Um, Alex, do you think Django Reinhardt and his music is becoming more popular in the present time? Yeah, I'd say, yeah, there's definitely been like a resurgence of it. Like, um, among my friends alone, I've noticed like all the guitarists I know have kind of moved on from the, the rock kind of stage and they've all gone down the Django path. There's uh -huh. something about it that just attracts guitarists, I think. Um, and even like I've got friends who play violin who just got really into it. It's just you know it's just such an iconic sound, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think Django jazz and is becoming more popular with the younger generations? Yeah, I definitely I definitely think that's like the case. Like saying with my friends, like, I've noticed it, and I can't I can't even remember um, a time when I didn't know about Django actually from like learning about guitar. Like, I can remember one of the first things. Um, 
any guitarist ever told me was there's this crazy French guy who played with two fingers, you know. And I kind of looked him up and didn't really understand it, didn't really get it before. That's amazing. Yeah. And I can actually remember um, driving down down the motorway and my friend putting on a Django Reinhardt CD and being like, no, listen to this, and like blasting it out and being like, this is amazing, this is the best music I've ever listened to. Brilliant. So I think, yeah, with young people it's definitely coming back. Fantastic. Um, in terms of the Django Hub project, what do you think about the guitar lick surge engine idea? I think it'd be great. I mean, I've always felt a bit of a lack for licks as such, like, particularly for something like jazz. I mean, you find them so much for rock and pop and all that kind of stuff, but for jazz, it's because it, it's a bit more involved, a bit more complex, it's really hard to know where to start. So I think something like that, where I could, you know, real put my head to it and be like, okay, I want a lick that will work over this chord or whatever, um, and just find it like that. And, you know, that's such a good building block to have. Brilliant, yeah, definitely. What do you think about having your own user profile on the site? I think that would be really good because, um, yeah, I guess you could incorporate like, I could upload recordings and videos of myself and you know, people can comment on them and say, oh, that's real cool what you did there, or that's actually crap, don't do that. <laughs> you know, it's, you could get that kind of community vibe going, which is what Gypsy Jazz is, isn't it? You know, it's a big community thing. Exactly. And if you can get that on the web, whereas like, because you know, not everyone unfortunately um, has access to that community all the time living in rural places or that, but if you can get that on the web where people can always get to and you know they can upload their solos and people can say yeah keep doing what you're doing it sounds great brilliant i think that'd be an amazing thing brilliant um if the site was developed enough do you think you would uh, pay for a subscription yeah i think i definitely think i would i mean i've paid for um lessons and things like that in the past um, so i think i think if it, if it was good enough you know something like that is definitely worth a good subscription Brilliant. Finally, what do you think of the, the project name, the Django Hub? Yeah, I love it. Like, um, it sounds, it's easy to remember. It's got Django's name in it, obviously, which is great. It just sounds like the centre for Django, which is you know, what I want at the moment. Brilliant. Thanks for your time, Alex. See you around. <laughs>